Ford has been making some good decisions lately under the leadership of its CEO, Jim Farley. Now they've announced they're working on a next generation fully electric skateboard for their new Ford F-Series pickup trucks. This will be a dedicated platform. It won't be any Rivian technology. It will be Ford technology only. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. You are watching The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. If you want to know a bit about me, I'll put a link in the description below to a video I made a bit about my background and where I've come from, what I do, etc., etc. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Of course, if you're new, you probably don't know that we've made over 660 videos over the last six to seven months. And make sure you check out some of those videos if you want to really know what's going on in the electric car world and the battery world. There's lots of things happening. And in fact, a lot of the videos we've made, no one has made, no one has even talked about those issues anywhere that I can find on YouTube. Now, I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. I'll put a link below. If you want to jump on and support the channel, I'd really appreciate that too. It makes a huge difference to us being able to create so many videos every day. Now, Ford is developing an all-new electric vehicle on an all-new full-size pickup platform. And it will sell in, in Jim Farley's words, incredibly high volume. I agree. Now, Inside EVs reports that Ford CEO Jim Farley said in a recent interview with Automotive News that the demand for EVs is two to three times greater than what the company initially expected. And I've been reporting this actually now for a few months. Other Ford executives have been saying similar things. They were saying something about like, it's our iPhone moment. We didn't realize that electric vehicles were like iPhones. I personally, I'm not buying it because if that was really true, then surely they would have seen, well, the Tesla Model 3 had what, 350,000 pre-orders. The Cybertruck, by the time the Ford F-150 Lightning was announced, already had 600,000 pre-orders. Surely they had to have known, not just the last few months. But anyway, at least now Ford are certainly waking up to this opportunity, this disruption, which can either kill them or help them to grow. And I think they want to grow. So that's the challenge that Jim Farley is taking on, telling Ford they need to be more like Tesla rather than saying like General Motors is saying, we need to be more like us because we're the best. I mean, obviously, except when you're not the best, Ford's not the best right now but they're trying to get there. Now, Ford CEO Jim Farley said in a recent interview that they would double EV production to 600,000 units per year globally by the end of 2023. That's not far away, but actually they should triple it, but they just can't. He said that the reason for this was due to battery bottlenecks. And Tesla's been talking about this for years, right? That's the reason why Tesla doesn't have one contract with one company for batteries. It has many, CATL, BYD. LG Chem, Panasonic, and of course, it's making its own batteries as well. Here's what Jim Farley actually said. Demand is two to three times what we expected. And, and so that capacity had to be doubled, probably tripled if we could, but we can't. Lightning, when we first got together, we talked about volumes of 20,000 units a year. Honestly, I can't believe that they talked about 20,000 units a year. This is madness. I mean... 20,000 a year, what the heck were they thinking? But anyway, he said, and I was like, no. So we capacitized something far north of 20,000, but it's nowhere near the 160,000 units of demand we have today. Our reservations are now 200,000 units now, and we're moving those reservations to actual orders. Now this month, Ford will start serious production of the Ford E-Transit, which will be followed by the Ford F-150 Lightning in the spring. The manufacturer expects that more than 80% of Lightning reservations will turn into orders. And it's very competitive because it brings new features like ProPower on board to provide electricity for a house if needed. Here's what he said on that. I think it's going to be north of 80% that will actually go through with the reservation, but we don't know. The issue is that since we launched the Lightning, Full-size trucks have gotten a lot more expensive, so that price that we launched is looking more and more attractive. So when people look at moving from a reservation to an order, I think it's going to be extremely high, more than with the Bronco. I 100% agree. Of those reservations, those 200,000, if Ford can deliver them within the next couple of years, I mean, I think that 
they probably won't. I think it's going to take them a bit longer. But if they can, and I hope they can, then I think that at least 90% of pre-orders will actually go through with an order. I think the same thing for the Cybertruck as well. But anyway, that's another issue. Now, Blue Oval City is the next generation full-size pickup platform. The current Ford F-150 Lightning is closely related to the F-150 pickup, which is good and bad. It has batteries within the frame area and drive units in the axle area with some substantial modifications, such as the rear suspension, which has been changed. Now, this future electric pickup from Ford will be very different to the current conventional one, or this, the coming electric pickup truck, because obviously that's based on a traditional pickup. Now, this new pickup platform, though, will be built at Ford's new factory in Tennessee, but it's still quite a, a while away. They're saying that they're going to deliver it in 2025, so it's about three to four years away from now. But according to Jim Farley, the next generation F-Series pickup will sell in incredibly high volume. This is what I like to hear from Ford. I like to hear that they're planning for incredibly high volume. What you do now determines what you do in 2025. Now, to the rabid Toyota fans who have no idea and no, no kind of grasp of reality, what Toyota plans now is what will happen in 2025. So if you're a Toyota fan and you think that they're wonderful, I know there's a lot of you out there, you can't keep believing this fantasy that Toyota's just going to magically reinvent. Well, people who love Toyota, they're saying, they're trying to claim that Toyota's just going to go and do a pivot within the space of 12 to 24 months. And they're going to do what everyone else is doing and they're going to do it better because that's what Toyota does, right? Apparently, they're going to use their brand and within 12 to 24 months, they're going to pivot entirely away from ICE and go to electric, and they're going to do it better than everyone else. It doesn't work that way. You need to plan years in advance. You can hear what Jim Farley is saying here. He's saying if we want, we would love to be able to triple, if not more, the number of F-Series pickups we can make in two years' time, but we can't. We don't have the production capacity. He's saying that that's two years they can't actually triple. So this whole magical concept, thinking that Legacy Auto will just suddenly, amazingly make all these electric cars, which will just crush Tesla, it doesn't make sense. Even Jim Farley is saying that. You can't, you need to plan years in advance, two, three, four, five years in advance to deliver vehicles in that time frame. This is what Farley said. We've announced the new plan. It's going to be a huge site and it's going to build a vehicle we do not have today off a brand new platform, electric based, a full size pickup platform. We think it's going to be incredibly high volume. That's what they're planning for, obviously. What I know for sure is that we'll, we have to build more of these plants, of these battery plants as well. Well, assuming 43 gigawatt hours of battery cell production and 200 kilowatt hour batteries per pack, it would be 215,000 units annually at their Tennessee site. If they made the battery pack smaller, they could make 250 to 300,000 at this site. Now, obviously, right now, Ford sells a lot more F-Series pickup trucks than that. And obviously, Jim Farley is aware that once these, these vehicles catch on, once owners start to buy them, then what's going to happen? They're going to rock up to the job site or go to someone's house and someone's going to see they've got a new electric pickup and they're going to go, yeah, I don't want a gas pickup anymore. They're crap. I want one of these. And how long is it going to take before everyone wants a smartphone and no one wants a Nokia 3310 or whatever the hell they're called anymore? How long did it take for everyone to transition to smartphones? It wasn't very long. It wasn't 10 years. It was only a few years. Now, not a lot is known about this new platform, but we do know it's electric specific. So it's going to be a better truck than Ford's current F-150 Lightning. And obviously, they're going to ramp up their ability to produce more of them because clearly Ford is planning for that now in 2021. They're planning for 2025 to be able to produce a lot of vehicles. So to summarize, the factory is in Stanton in West Tennessee. The investment for this pickup truck is 5.6 billion US dollars. It's on a 3,600 acre campus covering nearly six square miles. I don't know why it's so big. Six square miles, it just seems pointless to me. But anyway, it'll produce 6,000 jobs in America. That's really good news. And production will begin in 2025. In addition to that, Blue Oval SK will be the joint venture to make batteries and they'll produce 43 gigawatt hours annually. Obviously, Ford's going to need a lot more batteries than that but I'm sure that they'll make that happen. So this vehicle, of course, will be different to a conventional pickup truck because it will be built on a dedicated platform. While the Lightning is based on a modified version of the ICE pickup truck. So yes, this is a new platform. It will be better. 
Now, I know people say Ford won't make many. That's true. They won't. I've said that myself. They won't make many in 2022. They won't make many in 2023, maybe a couple of hundred thousand at best. Of course, by then, they'll probably have pre-orders of five, six hundred thousand. But by 2024, they'll have ramped up a bit. And by 2025, they'll have ramped up again. Now, I think the year when the Ford's going to go big with these electric pickup trucks is probably 2026, 2027. Jim Farley is directing things right now. And honestly, if you listen to what he's saying, there's a high probability that Ford will survive this disruption to electric vehicles. Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.